Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. places are staying some are good some are bad some have character i mean everyone who watched uh edgar de jour will remember from leverkusen the shower in the middle of the room i mean wow but i tell you what this beats it this actually is probably a male fantasy to be honest with you living the dream check this out talk about living the dream look at this bathroom guys of the world that watch these videos you'll know exactly what this means i mean look at this so we've got a toilet here then there's no cubicle or anything, the shower's there. So I could genuinely sit here, having my good morning, and have the shower at the exact same time. Living the dream. So with the draw checked, it was off to the practice board, and I went and met up with the 2018 champion, Ryan Searle. Um, now guys, this guy doesn't have a nickname at the moment, so any suggestions, put them in the comments section and I'll forward them on to him. Although I'm a huge fan of the Chris Doby uh, choice, which was uh, Lord of Farquad. Okay, so the practice darts are now over and it's time for the matches. Up first to play the young lad called uh, Caven Phillips, really good game this one. He opened the leg very strong, 1-2-1, one, 1-3-4, one, 180. He left himself a 66 shot I believe it was. He missed his shot and I've took my uh, three dart combination out uh, to break in the first leg. Second leg opened with a 180, two trebles but I missed the sixth so the nine was off. Ended up leaving myself 32 after 12, look up and he's throwing at 80. Misses himself one dart at tops himself. Very, very high quality game this one. On to the second round and I was 1-0 up, cruising to victory in the second leg. And then the opponent hits a 180, takes out the 72 and then it's one all all of a sudden. And he's got the throw. And that just goes to show really the uh, format and how quick 
the games can turn around. But thankfully, I put in a nice 13 data in the last leg. Ooh, yo, ee. Round three now, and this is the type of match that I came to this tournament for. Um, tradition, like I said, a bit of a slow starter in times. And in the PDC, you can be 2-0, 3-0 down. And you don't fully feel out of the game. In this game, I went 1-0 down. And my, does it put the pressure on. Didn't enjoy this. Ended up coming through 2-1. But, wow. Um, certainly shakes you up a bit, this format does. Round four now. And um, I just played a guy I recognise. Uh, it was Tim Jones. I remember from the county days. Because he was called the T-Bot. Because of uh, his, um, his action and how he stands. This one was tough for different reasons as you can see the boards are quite close together and about one board down Gerwin Price was um, going out at this stage so you can imagine what the reactions was like at that point there was a, a lot of random celebrations and calling in uh, various shots that didn't match with the game so it was, uh, it was tough for different reasons but got through this one 2-1 so we're into the last 16 now and they take some of the boards out so that there's more space on the stage and it's easy to watch the games. All games now move to the stage and all the other sideboards slows down. So while they're doing that, I'm just giving the players a little break. Um, Bobby George and Colin Lloyd, led by Phil Bars, do a little Q&A on the stage. Bars, and he said, how do you do that? I said, no, he said, well, I'll tell you what to go for when you get it. I said, oh, no, I'll just go and close it. So he said, you've got to start. Now, he said, you've got to play suitably. I couldn't jerk, I couldn't count, but I could throw a guy. And this guy pushed me to go in the Super League. And I went in the Super League after probably a couple of weeks playing darts. And I won the Super League. into the last 16 and it was time to face one of the Welsh legends Barry Bates um, Barry played very well here to be fair to him and I just couldn't get going I was dropping the darts a bit low I think uh, tiredness was starting to kick in a little bit for me probably not an excuse considering I played Barry Bates who's probably twice my age uh, but yeah it just didn't happen for me and Barry uh, took this one 2-0 Really nice to meet some of the Edgars fans. If uh, you've got any photos with me, send me those on Twitter. It'd be nice to okay, see. Okay, we're outside now. We've finished, uh, lost in the last 16 to Barry Bates. He played well, played all right. I just fell flat. Got a little bit tired, I think. Whether it's tired, hunger, I don't know. But I didn't enjoy that one bit, even when I'm winning. The format sucked. Um, but that's what it is. We knew what we signed up for. Um, not a knock on the tournament. The tournament was great. Uh, I just never felt comfortable at any point, despite playing really well in some of the rounds. Uh, but that's it for this year. Uh, see if I'll come back next year. There's a venue in the background. Um, but yeah, that was. Uh, I'd like to say it was fun, but I don't think any one of the players off the tour are going to say that they enjoyed that because that was cutthroat, brutal. No time to enjoy that, and uh, yeah, it's a good leveler. Some uh, shock results in there today. I'm sure, you're already aware of that, and we'll see them. Uh, on the uh, clips or the updates. What are you filming a stadium for? No, try again. This isn't sightseeing with the Edgar, you know, people don't want to see this stuff. Um, well done anyway today, Red Dragon, nice event. Quite enjoyed that today. Nice to meet uh, some new people. Hopefully you watch this video, bang the subscribe button on that. Got some great content coming out over the next couple of days. As you can see, these videos are getting better. Uh, they said you can't polish a turd, but I'm certainly trying. We've certainly got a gold painted turd anyway, at least at the moment. We'll see where it goes in the future. But now, I'm gonna go see what Cardiff has to offer and see uh, how we can entertain the Edgar for the rest of the day. Let's do it. I don't know if you can see or hear me very well here, but now I love Cardiff. I mean, look at this. Double Dragon Arcade Machine. Donkey Kong Arcade Machine. Can I turn this around, can I? Can I flip it? No. Okay. Um, track and Field. And for um, Glen Durant. 1942. Cardiff, you are now my new favourite city. This is all in like some sort of bar. So, yeah, get in.
becoming a bit of a tourist guide now, this one, isn't it? But yeah, if you're in Cardiff, that's the place there. Awesome, love that. Edgar TV.